Hello! Welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin, PhD in Accounting. And our topic today is deferred tax, permanent difference. When we talk about deferred tax, we have temporary and permanent difference. Temporary difference, we have videos about that, and they are in our video description. And by the way, if you have uh, questions or comments, always leave it here or email me. I will tell you the my email at the end of our video. Subscribe our channel. You will be the first one to know when a new video arrives. And like our Facebook page, Accounting Hub by Dr. Scarpy. So let's go. Permanent difference. Causes by transaction and events that under existing tax law will never affect taxable income or taxable payable. Tax-free uh, income will never be reported on the tax return. Example, here in the U.S., interest received from investment in bonds issued by state and municipal government is exempt from taxation. So each country has it, its own uh, transactions that are tax-free. Okay? And there are permanent differences between uh, income tax and uh, between tax expense and pre-tax accounting income. And here, uh, we will have a different effective tax rate. It will be lower than the uh, tax rate itself. Okay, so we will check it soon. So, let's go to our Excel file. Uh, all our Excel files, they are free, and the link to download it is in our video description. Okay, so, uh, and here we also have the temporary difference, if you want to take a look later. So, Skype Incorporation purchased $100,000 of equipment in early January. Uh, estimate the user for life of three years, so it depends depreciates the equipment straight line, 40000 of depreciation expense. However, tax rules allow Scarpin to take the depreciation in two years. So it is a temporary difference. Scarpin also presents five million interest from investment in municipal bonds in 2021. And Scarpin has an 85% tax rate and the tax accounting income of 200000 uh, on each of those years, so here 200 million. Better okay, and the five million in municipal bonds interest represents a five million permanent difference. So, what do we have here? Pre tax accounting income 200 million, <coughs> uh, or Sorry, there. Are, so here, five thousand instead of five million and two hundred thousand. Okay, and here the five thousand. Okay, that is almost a live video. And five thousand permanent difference. Okay, so here we are. 200,000, 5,000 permanent difference only in 2020. So here in 2020, and temporary difference. So, okay, let's do only 2020. That, that is where we have the uh, permanent difference. So here we have taxable income, 175. So the tax rate, 25%, so 40. Four. So our step one here, tax payable, 44. For the future years, we have a tax uh, rate of 25, so 20% 20 of total temporary difference, so our uh, tax rate will be 5. So 20, 20, what do we have here? The ending balance. Of the future tax liability, it will be five. So, ending balance by the change. Uh, 
sorry, any balance less beginning balance nothing on 2019. Five. So here. And the plug much easier if we do our journal entry. So income tax payable, 44. Deferred tax liability, five. So income tax expense, the sum to balance the journal entry. So tax expense plug, 49. What do we have here? How do we find this effective tax rate? So our effect tax rate with five, not middle, thousand, and here, thousand, and here we have our following years, okay? So effect, uh, effect tax rate with 5,000 of municipal bonds included. So it is 49, divided by 200. So it is 84.38% lower than 25. However, if we exclude it, it will be 49 divided by 20 plus five or minus five here, the 25%. When we have only temporary difference, our effect, effective tax rate will also be the tax rate, the nominal tax rate. So the tax rate will be the same. However, when we have permanent difference, then tax rate will be different. Can be lower or greater depending on the temporary or on the permanent difference, sorry. So again, when we have only temporary difference, the tax rate doesn't change. It will be 25 because all of the difference will be paid one day, will, will be paid in the future, okay? Or they are paid more here, but on the long run, everything will be paid. When we have temporary difference, no, we have different effective tax rate because the permanent difference will be paid never, will never be paid. Okay, guys, so thank you so much. Questions or comments, leave it here or my email, jscarpin at gmail.com. Have a very nice day and God bless you.